Hello, I'm Maruk Said, your microbiology guide. Let's explore in-depth micro techniques and uncover groundbreaking insights together on this educational journey into the fascinating realms of microbes. Lactophenol cotton blue staining principle, preparation, procedure, results, and applications. Table of content. Introduction to lactophenol cotton blue staining. Principle, reagents required, preparation, procedure, results and interpretation, limitations, applications, conclusion. Introduction to lactophenol cotton blue staining. Lactophenol cotton blue staining is a widely used, simple, and effective microscopic staining technique in mycology, the study of fungi. It plays a critical role in the observation and identification of fungal structures, such as hyphae, conidia, spores, and fruiting bodies. Because of its simplicity, affordability, and rapidity, lactophenol cotton blue staining is a staple in microbiology, pathology, plant pathology, and environmental laboratories around the world. Lactophenol cotton blue staining is a standard technique used for the identification and visualization of fungi in clinical, environmental, and research settings. This stain highlights the structural components of fungi, allowing accurate microscopic examination. The method is non-culture-based and enables direct observation of fungal elements. It is often used as a presumptive identification technique before advanced methods, such as biochemical, cultural, or molecular tests are applied. Lactophenol cotton. Blue staining is particularly valuable for studying morphological characteristics of molds and filamentous fungi. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. A principle of lactophenol. Cotton blue staining. The core principle of lactophenol cotton blue staining is to stain chitin, a major polysaccharide found in fungal cell walls, using a specific dye that binds to it. Fungal cell walls are, are made of chitin and complex carbohydrates, which do not easily absorb regular stains. Cotton blue, a dye present in the lactophenol cotton blue solution, selectively binds to chitin and cellulose, imparting a distinct blue coloration to fungal structures. The lactophenol cotton blue solution not only stains the sample, but also acts as a mounting medium that preserves fungal morphology during observation. The three main functions of lactophenol cotton blue components. Phenol acts as a fungicidal agent, killing live fungi and reducing biohazard risk. Helps preserve the structure of fungal elements during examination. Lactic acid serves as a clearing agent, enhancing transparency, preserves and maintains the integrity of fungal structures. Cotton blue, aniline blue, a staining dye that binds to sheeton, making fungal structures visible under the microscope, gives fungal hyphae, spores and reproductive structures a clear blue color. Reagents required for lactophenol cotillon Blue staining solution for 50 milliliter preparation. To prepare 50 milliliters of lactophenol cotton blue staining solution, the following chemical reagents are required distilled water, 50 milliliters, cotton blue, aniline blue, 0.125 grams, phenol crystals, 50 grams, glycerol, sto millilitara, lactic acid, 50 milliliters. 70% ethanol for cleaning and sample wetting. Safety note, phenol is toxic and corrosive. Always use gloves, safety goggles, and work in a fume hood or well-ventilated area when handling it. 
preparation of lactophenol, cotton blue solution. Preparing the lactophenol cotton blue solution requires at least two days for proper mixing and maturation. The preparation ensures dye solubility and stability of reagents. Step-by-step -step preparation process. Day one, weigh 0.125 grams of cotton blue and dissolve it in 50 milliliters of distilled water. Let the solution stand undisturbed overnight. This allows any undissolved or insoluble dye particles to settle at the bottom. Day two, carefully weigh 50 grams of phenol crystals and place them in a glass beaker. Add 50 milliliters of lactic acid to the beaker containing phenol crystals. Stir the solution using a magnetic stir or glass rod until the phenol crystals completely dissolve. Add 100 milliliters of glycerol to this mixture and stir well. Filter the cotton blue solution prepared on day one into the beaker containing the phenol lactic acid glycerol mixture. Mix thoroughly and store the final lactophenol cotton blue solution in a dark, airtight glass container at room temperature. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Procedure of Lactophenol Cotton Blue Staining How to Perform Lactophenol Cotton Blue Staining on a Fungal Sample Take a clean, grease-free microscope slide. Place a drop of 70% ethanol on the center of the slide. Using a sterile inoculation loop, transfer a small portion of the fungal colony or sample into the alcohol drop. With the help of a needle or mounter, gently tease the sample to break up clumps and disperse the material evenly. Before the ethanol evaporates, add one to two drops of freshly prepared lactophenol cotton. Blue solution using a dropper or pipette. Place a sterile cover slip carefully over the stain to avoid air bubbles. Allow the slide to sit for one to two minutes to ensure proper staining and penetration of dye. Observe the stain slide under a compound microscope using 10x and 40x objectives. Look for blue stained fungal elements, including septate or non septate hyphae, asexual spores, conidia, fruiting structures. Results and interpretation. When viewed under the microscope, stained fungal structures exhibit the following characteristics. Fungal hyphae, spores, and conidiophores appear as blue-colored structures. The background appears light or pale blue, enhancing the visibility of fungal elements. The staining is clear, allowing detailed examination of cell walls, septa, and branching patterns. Examples of fungal identification. Aspergillus niger. Hyphae and fruiting bodies stain a delicate blue with a pale blue background. Trichophyton mentagraphites. Both hyphae and spores exhibit clear blue coloration with good contrast. Limitations of lactophenol cotton blue staining. Although lactophenol cotton blue is a useful and reliable technique, it has several limitations, presumptive tool only. It cannot identify fungi to the species level. Further testing is required. Not suitable for immature fungi, it only stains mature structures and may not reveal young or vegetative forms. Solution instability. Lactophenol cotton. Blue stain has a limited shelf life and should be used before the expiration date. May alter fungal morphology. Extended exposure to phenol can cause distortion or damage to delicate fungal structures. Requires experience. Accurate interpretation requires expertise in fungal morphology and microscopy. Applications of lactophenol Cotton blue staining. 
lactophenol cotton blue staining has broad applications in medical, agricultural, and environmental microbiology. Some key uses include identification of pathogenic fungi from clinical specimens such as skin scrapings, nails, sputum, or blood cultures, routine examination of molds and yeasts from food, air, soil, or water samples, teaching tool in microbiology and mycology labs for demonstrating fungal structures, quality control in pharmaceutical and cosmetic industries to detect fungal contamination, environmental monitoring to identify and document fungal biodiversity in ecosystems. Conclusion Lactophenol cotton Blue staining is an indispensable technique in microscopy-based fungal diagnostics. It is appreciated for its simplicity, effectiveness, and cost efficiency, making it an essential tool in diagnostic laboratories, teaching settings, and research environments. Despite a few limitations, it remains one of the best methods for rapid and reliable visualization of fungal morphology. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button. Thank you.